G'day folks and welcome back to Bex Basics. Today I want to talk about something that you might find on your brassicas. So on your Brussels sprouts, cabbages, cauliflower or broccoli. Uh, now the thing with those vegetables is that unlike some other vegetables where you might be eating the fruit of them or the root of those plants, with brassicas you can really eat the whole plant. So even for uh, cauliflower and broccoli you can actually eat the leaves and with cabbages and Brussels sprouts you are actually eating the leaves they're they're considered a leafy green and even with Brussels sprouts uh, the outer leaves you can actually eat those and so it's important for us to protect uh, all of the leaves of those plants from pests and diseases because you really want to maximize the amount of food you're getting from what you're growing Although we would traditionally just eat the head of cauliflower or broccoli, why waste the rest of the plant? You've spent a lot of effort and time growing those and there's a lot of nutrition in them. And if you're trying to feed your family out of your garden, you want to be able to eat everything that you possibly can from what you're growing. So you can eat those leaves and the stems. And so I want to show you something that you might find on your plants that's going to damage those leaves uh, and how to deal with it. So here we have our Brussels sprouts growing nicely here. If I have a look down here very closely, you see this curled over leaf here? Normally the leaves should be nice and open like this. All right, nice open leaves. And so if I start seeing curled over leaves like this, I think, okay, there's probably gonna be something hiding in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open that up, peel it back and show you what's inside if I can do it without damaging anything. So you see there, We've got, well, not only have we got a hole there, so there's a there's a uh, caterpillar roaming around somewhere that I'll get, but these grey things here, now they are cabbage aphids, uh, and they can be prolific. Now, as I said, the problem with these sorts of things, unlike other vegetables, like you might have aphids on the leaves of uh, your apple trees or on the leaves of your uh, cucumbers or whatever it might be, that's not really going to hurt your actual fruit. It's not going to hurt your apples, it's not going to hurt your cucumbers. But we want to be able to eat these leaves and these aphids are going to eat away and damage the, the leaves of these plants that we actually want to eat. And part of the problem as well is that these can get, particularly because uh, of the way brassicas grow, these aphids have a tendency to get right down inside here. So right down into the core of the plant and when you're growing uh, broccoli and cauliflower, they have a tendency to get right inside the actual head, so inside the uh, the florets of the uh, broccoli and cauliflower as well, and it just ruins it. You actually, I mean, you could eat it if you wanted to, but you know, you're gonna be eating aphids, uh, which is, I suppose, a bit of extra protein if you wanna eat them, but um, it'll actually ruin them. I've heard of lots of people having to just throw away heads of cauliflower and broccoli because they've got these cabbage aphids in them. So how do you get rid of them? So there's a couple of ways you can do that. The first way is our with our trusty spray bottle with just some water and a few drops of uh, dish soap in there. Now try to use some you know eco-friendly or uh, organic type um, dish soap, detergent, whatever it might be, only because it's going to be less harsh on your plants. And what I like to do uh, is I like to spray this on um, directly onto where the aphids are and then rinse it off about half an hour ago because what it actually does, the detergent actually suffocates the aphids and um, once, that, once, that done, once that's done, you can actually rinse it off and that way the detergent won't actually burn the leaves of the, of the plants that you're spraying it on. Just while I'm at it, we're out here early in the morning. Look at that beautiful leaf with those beautiful dew drops on it shining in the sunshine. So take some time when you're out in the garden to see the beauty of it as well, not just the, the uh, utility of it, but look at that beautiful display there of lovely droplets of water on the, on the plants. And while you're at it, um, hit the subscribe button in our uh, channel so we can um, get our algorithm up and get more uh, of the word out to people so that they can start uh, to grow their own fruit and vegetables as well and start to feed their own families. But while we're at, uh, talking about aphids, the other way to get rid of them and uh, the instant gratification, in fact, actually look, there's that caterpillar. Let's get him off straight away. 
you can go down here and we will squash you with a rock later on. Uh, but back to the aphids. So instant rectification is to just squash them with your thumb. If you don't like doing it with bare hands, get some gloves on. I'm not worried about that sort of thing. So you just you can just go ahead and just squash them. And so instantly, they're gone. <clears throat> That'll kill them straight away, and they're gone. You can wash your hands afterwards, obviously. Get right down into the crevice of the leaf there, and just squash them, and they're gone straight away. Um, but you certainly want to be getting rid of those aphids because um, you know they will ruin your plants. If you get them right down into the core here, or and so using um, the spray is going to be more effective down in there so you can actually get down in there and get those out. Unless you want to get down in there with a toothpick, but you're probably going to miss some. So your spray with your detergent is going to be, do a better job down in there. And as I said, rinse it off as well. Um, but you really need to be on the lookout for those. Um, they can uh, attack your plants very quickly. I was out here yesterday and found some and got all of them and then it come out again this morning and found this other uh, little colony as well. So be on the lookout for those. They can very quickly decimate your brassica crop and render them inedible. As, again, be on the lookout for your caterpillars as well and get rid of them. Uh, but that's how to, what to be on the lookout for uh, with regards to your cauliflowers, broccoli, cabbages, uh, and Brussels sprouts. Thanks for joining us on Bex Basics and we'll see you next time.